Hey, what's up guys? It's Covert Code here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something slightly more different than usual, okay? I am gonna be attempting to make a game in as little amount of time as I can. Now, what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna be making a game where players get spawned in on top of a block, and this block will constantly rotate at increasing speeds until everyone falls off. So that would be a sort of like little mini game which I can make in a very short amount of time. Now, let's not waste any of your time and get straight to the point and start this challenge. Let me just pull up a stopwatch to my right here and let's get going. So, three, two, one, go. So the first thing I need to do is resize the cube. Let's make this 50, 50, 50. Color it to something we like, make it nice black, cobblestone. Copy, paste, resize. We're gonna make tiny little blocks, uh, which will kill you if the, the uh, part rotates. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make this neon red. Copy, paste. Yep. Now, copy, get again. Just gonna put these on all sides of the block. Okay, that's what we do. Okay, now, that, get again. But this is gonna probably gonna take a large amount of time compared to the actual coding i'm not sure uh let me just group this um so this is gonna have to be the primary part call this primary uh group every single filling part um copy paste this um we need the part which players will actually get teleported on so call this e change the color to something like this make parent can collide off uh, let's anchor the primary part. Set that. Uh, oh, set the primary part. Um, okay, put that in. Okay, now we need to weld everything um, to the anchored primary part. Plugins, weld, pretty convenient. Now let's actually get making the game. Uh, screen GUI, we're gonna have preset on spawn, text table. So this is just gonna be a small little message for the players so they can actually know what's going on. So it's gonna be something like this, pretty basic, X scale, white text, zoom bold, that um font 185, the message. Uh yeah, so this is just gonna be the message. Now we're gonna have a value inside of replicate storage called um message and whatever the message says we can display. So game.replicate storage with the child message change connect connect function text pip.pen.text is equal to the string text okay now let's actually get to controlling the game mode itself okay now um for iv in pairs so what we're gonna do here is make sure that the actual parts kill okay so those red parts we made uh we're gonna make those Kill people. People touch connect function touch. Now, if touch is a base part, so if it is a part, then if touch dot parent find first child humanoid. So if it touches your hand, uh, it will kill you pretty much. Touch parent break joints. So this will kill you. That should work. Equal to zero. So this is going to be a counter for um, people who are alive, pretty much. So while wait, do this is the game loop. Um, alive is equal, to is equal to zero. It's going to reset that every time. Workspace dot model set primary part C frame. We need to make sure it goes back to the original position every single time. C frame dot new. Okay. Now for i equal to one to ten plus one do. So this is just going to be like a small timer here. So print i game dot replicate store dot message dot value is equal to starting in i. Okay, cool. We're doing decent on time. So local players is equal to game dot players get players. Okay, um, alive to hashtag player. So we're just going to overwrite that. Yeah, whatever players is, is going to be defined. So for i v in pairs player do we're just going to loop through the players now. So if v dot character, so if they have a character, then v dot character move to um, workspace dot model dot position. Okay, so we're just gonna teleport the players. So 
D.Character, .Humanoid, .Die, Connect, Function, Alive minus equals 1. So we're just going to decrease the Alive counter if they die. Now, local started is equal to tick. The local amount is equal to 0.01, I think that should do fine. So repeat until Alive is less than or equal to 0. So if tick minus started greater than or equal to 5, then started is equal to tick amount plus equals uh two okay so we're just gonna make that um increase in speed so workspace dot model get primary part c frame workspace dot model get primary part c frame so we're gonna rotate frame dot from euler axis yz amount 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 pause the time okay that's just under five minutes there uh nice uh I think it should work. Let's see. Let's play. Uh, let's hope it works. Nine, eight, seven. It's also prints out in the console, which is amazing. That's good. Um, okay, teleports are just fine. I should have probably made this change to like game in progress or something. And now this should speed up. Uh, and make it increasingly harder to stay on the cube. Oh, this is... And I died. There we go. And it restarts again. So yeah, I mean, I made that in less than five minutes. Um, yeah, that's a pretty simple game. It could be much better, I guess. Um, and I have an idea, okay? Because I've seen videos like these before, and they make these games, yet they never release them to the public. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to make this game public, I'm just going to change the description, um, and tweak a few things, and make this public and see how it does. A few moments later. Okay, so all we did, as I said, we changed the description, made it to something slightly catchy, not too catchy, it's not... Too special. I just designed a quick thumbnail for the game and I renamed the game to The Cube. Now, I, you know, liked my own game, that's okay, I like my own game, and I added my YouTube channel in the social links. Now, I'm gonna show you the mini changes that I made. Okay, so what we did, we basically just changed up the, the skybox here, made it into this, uh, cool free modeled um, space team skybox. Um, I added my YouTube channel link here and I just added some free music I found in the library. That's it, that's all we did, change up the game. Okay, um, so now I'm just gonna be releasing the game, seeing how it does and I'll tell you guys, well, how it does. See you in a bit. One eternity later. Hey guys, small update. The game is starting to pick up. Um, nothing too special. Uh, we have like five players, excluding myself. Um, but it's a start, you know? It's, it's starting to pick up. Uh, not a lot of traction, but it's a game that was made in five minutes. So what do you expect, I guess? Hey guys, so it's been a while. Um, you know, it's not... It hasn't reached the front page or anything like that. It reached a maximum of 50 concurrent players, which is not bad. You know, if you have a game... That you're making for the first time any amount of players is amazing it will empower you to make more games and you will grow that way um so yeah that's the end of this video guys um if you liked please leave a thumbs up uh if you like this specific kind of video as opposed to my usual tutorials let me know in the comment section below so i can make more of these videos um and thank you all for watching